Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at how to connect our rocket application to a database and we're going to use diesel for that. Alright, so let's get straight into the code. So this is the code base that we made in episode 14 and we're going to use that as a base. And the first thing that you want to do is that you want to run cargo install diesel cli underscore cli like so and then you hit enter and that's hopefully going to install diesel cli so i'm going to cut until this is completed all right so that took quite a few minutes but it seems to be finished now so what you want to do now is you want to write echo and then database underscore URL and it's going to be equal to MySQL or MySQL and then you want to enter your username and then a colon and then the password for that user and then at localhost uh, unless you have another place where your uh, MySQL server is but for me that is localhost and then you want to put that in a oh sorry the last thing you want to do is you want to write the actual database name. So for me, that is going to be YouTube. And then you want to put that in an environment file like so. So that's .env. And then you want to press enter. So what I entered in was uh, this right here. Database URL equals MySQL. And then user uh, password at wherever your MySQL server is. And then slash the actual database and that you want to put that in your environment file like so all right so after that you want to write diesel setup and then you want to write diesel migration generate and then i'm going to call mine create users sessions and then press enter and now you want to move over into your editor and you can see that there's been a new folder created called migrations so you want to open that one and then this is just the current date and then you want to open the up and in the up i'm going to create a new table create table and we are going to call that table users sessions like so and then in the users sessions table we're going to have a id id like so and that is going to be a big int and it's going to be unsigned it's not going to be null and we want this to auto increment like so we are also going to have a user id and that's also going to be a big int and let's see unsigned should like so this is also going to be unsigned and not null but we don't want this to auto increment and then the last thing is the token that should be a a bar char of size 255 for now and that's just the largest bar char so and that's going to be not null and then you want a primary key on the id like so and the engine for this engine let's see engine is going to be inno db and the fault and the char set is going to be equal to utf8 all right, so that was quite a bit of code, but I think this is everything. And then you want to open the down file. And in the down.sql file, you want to write drop table and then users sessions like so. All right, and then you want to go back to your terminal. And in your terminal, you want to write diesel migration run all right so the next thing that you want to do is you want to write diesel and then print 
dash schema and that's going to be to the source slash schema dot rust like so and after that you want to in your source directory you want to create a new file and that's going to be called models dot rust and in your models uh, file you want to use schema and every schema and then you want to create two structs so one of them is going to be derive queryable and it's going to be a public struct that's going to be called users sessions like so and it's going to have an id and that's going to be public and it's going to have a public user id i'll type i64 as well and finally it's going to have the token and that's going to be a string and then you want to create a new struct and this struct is going to be um, derive derive insert double like so and then the table name is going to be table name it's going to be equal to users sessions like so and this is also going to be a pub struct but uh, for this one we this is going to be called new user session like so and this one is going to have two fields it's going to be a public user id of type i64 and then a public token of type string like so all right so that should be it for the models file so then you want to create another file and that file is going to be the lib.rs file and in your lib.rs file you want to start at the top by writing mac macro use like so and then you want the extern create for diesel and then you want the extern create for dot env and then we are going to use the models so uh, basically this is telling us that we want to use the models file so pub mod and then the pub mod for the schema as well and then you can say use diesel prelude and everything and use dot env and want the prelude there no sorry use dot env dot env like so and then finally use standard env all right so we also want to use the self dot models and we want to import both of our models so we put curly braces and then we put user session and new user session and like so all right that looks pretty good now we want to start writing our functions so we're going to have a public function called establish connection like so and that's just going to return a my sql connection and what this is going to do is going to be dot env dot ok that should look like so and then we want to declare a new variable so let database url is equal to env and then the variable called database url so this is basically loading uh, whatever we put into the dot env file previously and then we want this to expect so let's go back dot expect a database url must be set can make this a little bit smaller and then we are going to establish a connection so my sql connection dot establish like so and then we want to put in the database url and we want this to expect something like format that's a macro and we're just going to say error connecting to the database url so error connecting to the database URL 
All right, so that should be it for this function. And we're also going to declare one more function. And this function is going to be called create new user session. And this is going to take in a couple of different variables. So the first one is going to be the connection. So the connection, and that is going to be a MySQL connection. And then it's also going to take in a user ID, and that's going to be a I64 like so. And finally, it's going to take in a token, and that's just going to be a string. And then it's going to return a user's session like so. And we want to use the schema called users sessions like so and then we're going to declare a new variable so this variable is going to be called new user session and it's going to be of the new user session type and in here we want to put a user id and that's just going to be the user id from up here and then we also want to put in a token and that's going to be the token from up here so put a semicolon at the end and then we want to insert this into our database. So we're going to run diesel insert into, and it's going to be the users sessions table like so. And the values for this is going to be new user session. And we're going to execute, execute this to our connection. And we're going to expect this to error saving new session all right so that's quite a bit of code and let's see there might be an error somewhere all right so i found an error and the error is up here there should be a semicolon at the end so if you save that now you can see this all and uh, it makes it look a little bit more pretty so it might be a little bit hard to understand everything in this video right now, but I think in the next episode, you're going to understand it a little bit more because then we're going to create a couple of sessions and stuff like that. So good luck and happy coding. <laughs>